Hello, my name is Ed. Oh, welcome back to Equivalent Skies. Look at my beautiful base. Look, just look at how pretty it is. Look at how postmodern all of the wires intersect with each other. It's it's a thing of beauty. No? Just me? Okay. Um, how is everyone going? I uh, hope you're all doing well, having a good day. Um, this is going crazy right now. This is going crazy. Some Someone in, uh, in my last video said, hey, you can charge the watch of flowing time uh, by pressing V. So I did. And look at it, it's got like a little bar. And I've never really noticed that because, frankly, I've only ever used uh, the watch of flowing time on a pedestal. So I sort of don't really know much about it um, on its own thing. And it doesn't say anywhere there uh, about, you know, being able to charge it. And that has like supercharged this. Like it's, look at this, look at how ridiculously fast these things are growing right now. So... That is interesting. That is very interesting. So, um, I think what I was going to do is originally, obviously, we were going to make a pedestal uh, and put the watch for flowing time there and have that do its thing there, basically, basically. But um, there's a few other things that we can maybe do or at least have a look at. So there's this here. So uh, this is all of our stuff here. There's still so many like little bits to do. But there's a farmer. A farmer, you'll be able to set up a simple automatic crop farm that you can use for EMC. And I thought, hey, okay, well, maybe. Well, maybe maybe we can do that. And I think I need to do one, two, three, four of those. And there we go. Uh, and make this thing here. And there we go. Iron casing. And then what do I need? Um, I need... Oh, what, what are these? Inori crystals. Aha. Uh -huh which we have, we have the thing, and let's do that quickly. I thought they were just blocks of iron, they are not. Really? Have you done it? Did you do it? Yes, yes you did do it. All right, all right, you crazy laser. You crazy laser, all right, and then we need uh, seeds. Do we have seeds in here? I actually don't know, I've just realized. Yes we do, look at that. Excellent stuff. There we go. Right. So we should be able to make a farmer at the very least now. There we go. Bam. Farmers up. Do the thing. Yes. Thank you. Has that? That has not unlocked anything. <laughs> I didn't think it would, but it, like, it's just gone back to the old extended crafting table, which is fine. That's, that's okay for now. But what I wanted to see is how fast we can make crops grow. Um, because because there is uh, a harvest band. Look at that. Also from Project E. Um, so on a on a pe ah on a pedestal accelerates growth of nearby crops. Harvest nearby grown crops. Ah, it harvest stuff as well. Okay, which makes sense because it is called the Harvest Goddess Band. But still, uh, activates every point five seconds, and that is relatively cheap. Like you know, that's that's pretty cheap. What is that again? That is just iron around that so we can pretty much let, let's make it let's make it and see i thought it would be an interesting thing to try and make and see and you know see if we can do this so two poppies what else what else do we need uh saplings and then two bits of things so have we have we saplings and oh actually so i am voiding a lot of saplings but we should have yeah there we go two was it four saplings yes four and then two of these bad boys and oh that just takes the entire stack okay fair enough right um that bam that bam boom so what i want to see do we have dirt or anything like that dirt let's do that i need to make a hoe need to make some seeds there we go um inventory is terrible let's just dump some stuff uh that 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 Coal coke, all of that can just go in there for for the moment. Just need just need some more space. Just need some more space. So uh, let's put you in there as well. Right, that that. Do I have a hoe? Probably not, because why would I? Let's make ourselves a little hoe. And I just want to. I sort of want to see if it does anything. A. Um, no. <laughs> what am I doing? If it does anything uh, without. Oh. Can I not make a hoe? <laughs> hoe. Oh. Right. 
th- oh yeah, of course. Everything, everything is all of um I, man, I forgot. I forgot. It's it's all this. That's okay. We can we can do this. We can do this. Stencil. Um is this uh, is that a hoe? No, that's all right. Can we just make a paxel? Or is that precision reaping tool? Harvest and replants crops. Yes, that's mowing down plants, but can't... okay, let's just make a paxel then. So axe and shovel head. So we've already got the axe. Shovel head. There we go. Bam. Parts builder. Right, so uh that can we put that in? Oh we totally can. That is nice. Uh do I have cobble anywhere? Bam. We do. And we'll just make that. And that. And there we go. Paxel. Oh, a mattock. Not a paxel. A mattock. Right. Okay. So that, that. Um, I've I've changed where the water is. Because of course I have. Because water would be good for us to have right now. And then what I sort of want to see is I don't know if a, I don't know if the watch of flowing time is going to affect the uh, the crop. I have no idea. I presume it is, but I don't really know. So let's put just you here for now. This is going to go like that. Yeah, that's fine. It's going to flow down, but that's okay. There we go. Right, so that, that. Ah, so this isn't being affected by, by the watch of flowing time, or is it? No. So these things, yes, these things, no. Ah, but that did, apparently. Ah, so if I, if I'm holding the goddess band, it does. Interesting. But I think this is, like, a lot faster. Like, a lot, lot faster. Um, I think, I think it's, I think we need a pedestal. I think we need a pedestal, and I think that's okay, that's fine. So we need, uh, let's have a look. Pedestal, so one of these, so we need four of these, uh, and that's, yeah, that's a lot of that. Let's get that many in, there we go, one, two, three. Excellent, and then we need, how many? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Bam. A block that matters. Yeah, thank you. There we go. There we go. Let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. Right. So, so let us see if we put that on there. Oh, that's like literally ripped everything out. Look at that. Oh, that's a weird thing. Where's, yeah, there he is. Not doing anything, not doing anything. Every point five seconds it said. Okay, there it is. Yeah, it's not as it's not as brilliant. Some might say it's actually rubbish. And then it actually rips everything out, so that's not that useful. Um Oh, can I get you back? Or do I have to literally break you? There we go. Okay, fine. Um There we go. Let's then Let's then put you on here and actually put our watch of flowing time on here. Is this still going really super fast? Yeah, it's going pretty fast. But I think it was doing it faster with us just holding it. Definitely doing it faster with us just holding it. But for now, like that might just have to do for at least the foreseeable. I don't know if a if a farm would be a good thing to have, frankly. Um so yeah, there we go. Bit of testing doing there. Uh because I wasn't really quite sure. Right, onwards with some other stuff then. So putting some glass in here. Uh should get us uh, there you go. That stuff, the molten glass. Let's get that out. Thank you very much. And then we come over here, because what I would like to make, uh, at least the first of, is a machine frame. Look at that. That is how we make it, which seems a little bit insane. Um, 
but I have the required things finally. So it is one, two, three, four, I believe. One, two, three, four, like that. And then that, like that. And then basically the same again. Uh, and then like that, I think. I think this is it. I hope this is it. Uh, so that, well, that that does that. And then I think I just chuck that in, don't I? That is the, yeah, the thing. Okay, let's see. Boom. Look at that. We have a machine frame. That is an insane recipe. Like, that is a weird, <laughs> the weirdest recipe I think I've ever seen uh, for a machine frame. But there you go. We've done that. So now, ah, look at this. Ooh, Skystone requires the Ignis Extruder. Um, Fluix, oh wow. Look at this, this is, this is quite crazy. Uh, compactor, energetic, okay, yes. So all of these things, so really, I probably need at least three uh, machine frames, it looks like. I wasn't really sure, it's always hard to know with <laughs> this mod pack, is like where, where this is going to go, I don't know. Um, a piston. Redstone alloy ingot we need for a piston, uh, which again seems crazy, doesn't it? Um, so let's have a look at the piston because we need to probably do that as well. Uh, whilst I do other stuff, what? Um, oh, sturdy stone, which is stone and cobble. Okay, fine. Uh, an iron rod, planks, and then a redstone ingot, which we should be able to alloy smelt. Silicon, which how can we get silicon in this pack? Um, Crushed quartz, is that it? It looks like any kind of crushed quartz. Yeah, smelting that. Okay, well that is, oh, and crushing, crushing sand, but we are nowhere near um, mechanism. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, and that is electrical steel. So not normal steel, electrical, that is dark steel. And this is osmiridium, because of course it is. Um, yeah. So we're nowhere near that. So uh, I'm going to get me some redstone alloy ingot so we can make a piston, just a humble piston. Right, I've got myself some silicon. Uh, so I made a crusher, basically, from actually additions to crush some nether quartz, just like that, just like that. Why are you... Oh, there you go, you are doing it. Um, so we now... Oh, I've got some some of that. Uh, we now... What do we put in? I think it's that and that. Oh, no, no, it's this. <laughs> Um, how many shall we make? I don't know. Eight? Eight, eight sounds good. Like that. Bam. And like, literally, I do not have enough power, as you can see right now. But I just need the one to begin with. Just the one. Come on. Do your thing. There we go. Redstone alloy ingot is done. Now, piston, what, uh, oh, I, I made some, I made some, and put it away, there we go, sturdy stone, piston, boom, all of that for a humble piston, can you believe? Are you going to do the thing? Are you going to do the thing? Yeah, you are going to do the thing. Yeah, you did the thing. Um, Right, so that has cyanite, ah, cyanite is a material needed for crafting the rest of the extreme reactor's materials. To obtain it, you're going to need to run an extreme reactor. Uh, what? Cyanite is a material needed for crafting the rest of the extreme reactor's materials. To obtain it, I've got to run an extreme reactor. That is a weird sentence. Uh, let's have a look then at extreme reactors. That would be nice because that would solve our power problems. Because we are, we are getting to the point now where we're going to come up against that. So, obviously, diamond, uranium... Okay. So, why do we need cyanide, then? I'm sort of confused. Uh, ah, is it for turbine stuff, then, maybe? I don't know. This is a weird... That is a weird thing to say, because it doesn't look like we need... Cyanide, at least, for to make extreme reactors. But then we might need to make use it for turbine stuff, I presume. That's the only thing I can see it in. Unless this is used for something? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well that is a confusing thing. Right, I'm saving up, by the way, for uh, for more for more thermal things. So I think that would probably be a great thing to do next episode. What is it, the Franken Zombie? Yeah, okay. Uh, and we still need to do the basic automated... I'm a bit scared. 
of the Project Red stuff. It seems very, very complicated to do something relatively simple. So I know, and I can see, look at this, I can see some some peaks of applied energistics. So I don't know if I'm just going to wait for that. We also need hop graphite, but I don't know why. And I need to do some runes, which I just did in Breakout as well. So I might leave that for the moment. And we need to get into some Thorncraft, which always scares me. So that's uh, that's going to be exciting. But I'm, I am saving up to go through the energetic, well, the thermal dy dynamics. Uh, no, not dynamics. Expansion. Thermal expansion. Would you look at this? Now, the only thing that is hard to make is the redstone reception coils. Uh, yeah, wire coils, which is all of that. So I've made a fair bit of them just to make that a little bit easier. But now, come on, do that. Come on. Yeah. Do the thing. So now, ah ha Skystone, beside for being decorative, is needed for making ME controllers. It's made by pouring erothium on basalt the blitz powder for which is made by pouring xp on nitre okay uh, blitz powder basalt erothium dust and then skystone wow let's just have a little look see at that at that thing again um so yeah that is made like that <laughs> zephyrean erothium wow uh, so let's have a look at the ME controller and just see um, what that is made out of. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. That is insane. What is that? Oh, that's an ME controller. Electro. Wow. Elect. That is ridiculous. Quantum rings. <gasps> oh, this is insane. Skystone blocks, which is like now the easiest energy acceptors. That's not too bad. And then a fluid block. That is, that is, that is bonkers. That is actually crazy. I don't think I've ever seen anything that crazy. Um, that is very scary. Um, that is a very, 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 very scary recipe. Um, so I'm basically, I'm, I'm, Hoping to do the energetic infuser, we'll do that, and we'll, we'll try and do the compactor as well for making plates and gears can be used for making blaze rods. Very exciting. So that's what I'm going to be uh, working on. I think I've almost got another 16 steel blocks, and then I'll, yeah, I'll be making those as well. So that's what I'm going to be spending my time doing uh, right now, and just getting all of the stuff together. So like, um, was it energetic infuser, wasn't it? Uh, I've forgotten which ones it was. That's a compactor, yes, but what's this one? Yeah, energetic infuser. Let's have a little gander at that. Energetic. Uh, energetic. There it is. There it is. Ooh, ooh, that's a very asymmetrical looking thing. Uh, so these are silver. Okay, I can do that. More copper and then a lead gear. Okay, that's not too bad. Right, this is the last one of the three. I've already got the energetic infuser. There we go, bam, and then drop that in. Boom, there we go, machine frame. Come over here, look at what I have set up. Rather lovely compactor, bam, kablamo. And the infuser is here, and basically what we're using this for is to charge Surtis Quartz. Um, that's what it's used for, and if we have a look now, has that opened up anything? It hasn't. Okay, so Fluix is the next step. Um, Throw it in water with redstone and quartz, basically. So um, I've got redstone, so I need a bit of quartz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. There we go. So let's just get all of that uh, and use our little water puddle over here. There we go. Oh, no, come on. All of it. There we go. Bam. Unnatural. That is done. And it should have done that as well. Yes. Quest complete, a fluix crystal. So, growing crystals. For making things such as calculation processes, you're going to need to grow crystals. So all of that is sort of opened up, um, which is quite interesting. I think this was a, probably a, yeah, a good, a good thing to be doing, actually. Um, I don't know how many of the other, like, thermal, uh, machines we'll need. Hopefully not too many more. That is, <laughs> it's, I can't believe how crazy the uh, ME controller is. That is actually scary. How many of these do I need? Um, just the one to complete the quest, but obviously we need a fair few more to get the ME system. Um, processes, there you go. That is also going to take some time. 
we're, we're getting with we're, we're sort of getting there a little bit a little bit slowly but surely we still haven't got the uh the ender crafting stuff and there's still like stuff up here as well but i feel like this is the progression down here and all of this stuff so i think next um episode we'll hopefully try to do a bit of this actually uh, which will at least help us with all the power because we're sort of struggling with that at the moment and then we can get on with doing all of that so i think that's going to be all we have time for um it feels like slow progression but it is definite progression so i'm okay with that i'm okay with that as long as we're progressing that is all good so thank you so much for watching hopefully you did enjoy it if you did like comment subscribe that would be lovely if you fancy it if not that's okay too watching is more than enough and I've been Hector, this has been Equivalence Guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>